Hello, you welcome. You welcome onto my channel today, and it gives me great joy to observe you are doing this video. I am Dr. Lion Kakonle. I am a relationship manager and a sociologist. On this channel, I do a number of stuffs, but all the stuff I do, you can easily cluster them into four: sociology, research, relationship, and migration. And meanwhile, have you subscribed to this channel? If not, what are you waiting for? Kindly go ahead and tap the subscribe button on your screen right now click the subscribe button on your screen right now for wonderful content if you have subscribed to this channel previously thank you very much for staying tuned today i want to address very important issue i've titled this video african men be careful when your wives or women are putting you under pressure to move abroad to relocate abroad. This is very important because of what I've seen, what I've heard and experiences as well as research. So I'm not here to destroy anybody's relationship to blame women or to blame men, but to simply give information, to simply tell you what researches have confirmed, what experiences have confirmed, that a lot of women are tired of African men because of uh, the culture that favors men over women. Patriarchy, a system whereby women are seen as subservient, are seen as second fiddle compared to men. So a lot of them are in marriages, they are in relationship, and they are tired of oppression. They are tired of submission. And many have come to see moving abroad as a way out of their suffering, as a way out of their subjugation. Many people consider, uh, many women consider African culture as being very unfair to them. And they're just enduring their relationships because of this. So if you as a man in Africa, an African, you are doing well, your businesses are doing well, your careers are doing well, you know, you have businesses, you have car or cars, house or houses, children you are well you are not sick there is no problem you are doing well or fairly well yes your wife is putting you under pressure to move abroad well because of children because the roads are bad no power no water no security the exchange rate is bad you might have to be very careful there may be ulterior motive so we have seen that many men are under tremendous pressure and you wonder what is this pressure about because everything seems to be fine. So you have to be careful. You have to be careful because some women may have ulterior motive to push you abroad so that they might have equality and some other reasons. You know, so you have to be very careful, ask questions. And why do women try to, you know, encourage or pressure their husbands abroad? Sometimes some may mean well, but there are quite a number of people, they just want to stop abuse. Many women feel abused in their relationship at the moment. And because of African culture, the family, kinship system, they are just there. Yet they are not happy. Many believe if they move abroad, abroad will give them equality and protection because the legal system abroad favors women, protects them, even more than men. And many of them know they have contacts abroad. They watch films about, about overseas. So many of them want to just cajole or pressure the husband abroad so that they might have they might be free from abuse. They want to stop abuse and a lot of them want to get their freedom, liberty, because they know once they get abroad, it's equality. No man is superior to any woman. No, it's equality. And in most instances, women are even superior to men over there because they are protected. So they look for equality, freedom, liberty. So that's very, very long time they, 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 they hide under the development of Africa to just deceive the men abroad. So you have to be very careful. I'm sorry, women, this is it for what it is today. So next time, maybe the other way around. So some of them want to pay their husbands back or their men because a lot of men are so terrible. They have subjugated, oppressed the women for so long. So the women are just looking for opportunity to get abroad, to pay them back <laughs> in their own coin, to punish them for many years of oppression in Africa. So it's pretty better because once they get abroad, power will change and the women know that they will have more power than even the men abroad, so they pay them back in their own coin. No, so many women want to humble their men. The men in Africa are considered very arrogant, very arrogant. When they get abroad, 
they will break their wings and they will humble them and to make them behave right. And sincerely, there are some women who just don't want to break their marriages. Their marriages and relationships are not working fine. And they believe when they move abroad, the men will be forced to behave right. So that will save their marriages, their relationship, and everybody will be equal. So oppression will stop because the African men are believed to behave irrationally and oppressively because African culture expects women to submit. This submission makes some men to misbehave and overuse their power. So a lot of women believe now when they get abroad, the, women, the men will be forced to behave right and that will save their relationship. And many of them also will oppress the men in return for all of this. And many have a children motive. So we, men, you have to be careful. Let your brain set properly. When you are under pressure from your wife or your, or your woman, ask your, yourself the question, what is this pressure about? Are we feeling poorly here? You know, and it's very common. And many women also love bandwagon effect. Everybody is moving abroad. I also think we should move. For no just reason. They just want to belong. They want to follow the bandwagon, the copycat syndrome. And many men lose out on account of this. I'm making this video because there are many miserable men abroad. Men who are doing very well in Africa, they are just abroad because of pressure. And they are feeling terribly. Many are depressed. Many can't return home because of shame or fear of being seen as failure. And many have been punished too much by their wives abroad. So, men, be very careful. Until I see you in my next video, kindly subscribe to this channel and share as widely as possible. Bye for now.